In this lesson, we'll be talking about layers in Pages panel. Now for better understanding, let's use one of the templates here. So on the starting screen, we'll use this wireframing and Figma template. And if you don't see that yet, you might need to scroll down a bit. And if you still don't really see it there, just choose any template and just follow along if you want to. So we have a sample wireframe here of a website and on the right side we have our layers panel. Anything that lives in our canvas will also be listed here in a hierarchical form. And if you notice as I hover the mouse over each layers, it highlights that on our canvas. So we have the names here and on the left it will tell you that it is a frame basing on its icon here. If you want to focus on a certain frame, you can double click on the icon here and that would zoom you in on that frame. Once again, if you hover on this layer, you will see like a small arrow indicating that there's sub layers or elements nested underneath it. So just click it to collapse it. From there, you can choose individual elements like this um, text here. And you can see that being highlighted on this frame. We also have some components here, which is um, represented by the color purple. And we will talk about components in greater detail on the next videos. Now notice there are icons beside it. So we have a lock icon, which um, locks these um, elements. And when it's locked, you cannot select it. And this makes sure that um, you don't accidentally select it when you have a lot of stuff going on. We can also hide the visibility of this type by clicking this eye icon here, just like so. And as I said earlier, all of this layer are in a hierarchical order. And you can modify the order by clicking and dragging any of this element or layer. So for example, if I place this text here at the bottom, you'll notice that it disappeared. But I did not turn off the visibility. What basically happened is since it is at the bottom, it went to the farthest back of this layer, which means it is below all of these background elements. You can also quickly put it either at the back or front with the keyboard shortcut left or right bracket keys. And that only lets you do it within its parent layer. You can also right click on that layer or element and you can see that option here. You notice that there are several options here. We have copy paste, group selection, frame selection, and we'll be using most of this on the upcoming lessons. I just want you to be aware that you can use this option anytime that you need them. And all you have to do is just right click on an element or layer and choose an action from this contextual menu.